in our previous two lessons we already discussed about four out of five types of natural vegetation found in india in this lesson we shall be focusing on the last remaining type of natural vegetation found in india that is the mountain vegetation the video links of all the lessons from this chapter are provided in the description for your reference so let's begin today's lesson well have you ever went for trekking or hiking in any hilly region well you must have noticed that once you climb higher from the base camp the type of vegetation changes with change in altitude at the foothills or at the lower slopes you will find tall pine trees and dense coniferous forests and now as you move higher as you climb higher the vegetation changes or reduces through mosses scrubs grasses etc and with further increase in altitude the vegetation cover depletes and the ground remains covered with permanent ice and snow now do you know what type of vegetation is this and where is it found in india well the type of vegetation that is found in any hilly region is known as the mountain forest in case of india it exists in the hilly regions of the himalayas especially in the north and northeastern part of the country so mountain forest as its name suggests is found in the mountainous or hilly regions now let us discuss some of the important characteristics of such type of vegetation well as seen in the video mountain vegetation changes with rise in altitude at the lower slopes or at the foothills of any mountain range you will find tall pine trees or conifers so between 1500 meters to 3000 meter coniferous forests are found now do you know what type of trees are conifers well conifers are trees that are conical in shape this shape enables such trees to sustain heavy snowfall as the snow slides down the side of this tree so conifers are trees that are conical in shape and it is found in the hilly regions where snowfall is very common but the shape enables these trees to survive heavy snowfall also conifers bear cones and have needle like leaves see such types of cones are found in conifers and they have needle like leaves so the important characteristic of coniferous trees is that they are conical in shape they bear cones and have needle like leaves let us now discuss some of the examples of coniferous trees some important coniferous trees found in india are pine fir larch douglas now these coniferous trees are soft wood trees that is they are less hard and compact than the hardwood trees so they can be easily cut with cutting tools thus coniferous trees which are soft wood trees are commercially very important because they are widely used in paper manufacturing industries for furniture making etc so we can also say that coniferous forests are commercially very important because they contain many valuable soft wood trees now before moving on with our lesson let us try to answer this question it asks which of the following is not a coniferous tree and the options given are pine cactus fir or douglas well you can't remember we just discussed that some of the important examples of coniferous trees are pine fir and douglas however cactus is not a coniferous tree so the option will be cactus which is not a coniferous tree 
As discussed previously, mountain vegetation changes with rise in altitude between 1500 to 3000 meters that is at the lower slopes of any mountain range, coniferous forests are found. However, if you move further higher or if you climb further higher, then you will find that the type of vegetation changes here between 3000 to till the snow line, alpine vegetation is found. And if you move further beyond, that is if you rise further beyond the snow line, then you will find that vegetation cover depletes and the ground remains covered with permanent ice and snow. Thus, we can also say that the summit or peak of any mountain range always remains snow capped and lack vegetation cover. So, at the base or lower slope of any mountain range, you will find dense coniferous forests. Then, if you move higher, that is at the middle portion, you will find alpine vegetation. And if you go further beyond, then you will find that the place is covered with snow. That is, the topmost part of any mountain range lacks vegetation cover and it is covered with snow. So, from this we can infer that mountain vegetation changes with rise in altitude. Now, let us see what is the meaning of alpine vegetation. Well, alpine vegetation is a type of vegetation that is found in cold dry region. It mostly consists of mosses, lichens and shrubs. Now, these plants are extremely short in height and they remain close to the ground in order to protect themselves from cold icy wind that are very common in such high altitude. Also, some flowering plants grow here during summer months but they wither away with onset of winter. So, such is the type of vegetation found in the cold dry region of hilly mountains that is alpine vegetation. So, now let us quickly summarize the important features of the mountain forest or mountain vegetation found in India. Well, we know this type of vegetation exists in the hilly or mountainous regions of the Himalayas, especially in the northernmost part and some parts of northeast India. An important feature of such type of vegetation is that it changes with rise in altitude from coniferous to alpine. That is, at the base or at the lower slope of the mountain, you will find dense coniferous forest. But as you move higher, the vegetation changes to alpine. And if you move further beyond the snow line, that is to the topmost part of the mountain, then you will find that the vegetation cover depletes and the ground remains covered with snow and ice. So, such is the type of vegetation found in the hilly regions, that is the mountain vegetation. Some of the important coniferous trees that is found at the base or at the lower slope of a mountain are pine, fir, deodor, etc. And these trees are important soft food trees that is used for manufacturing paper, furniture, etc. So, here we finally come to the end of our discussion on the natural vegetation of India. This map shows the entire natural vegetation of India and it mostly consists of five major types. The tropical evergreen forest is the first one. This type of forest is found in the warm and wet regions that receives high amount of rainfall that is in the northeastern part of the country and the western coastal plain. It is also found in the two island groups of the countries that is the Lakshwadip and Andaman and Nicobar islands. The next we have deciduous forest. Deciduous forest covers a major portion of India and in this type of forest, rainfall plays an important role because it varies seasonally. Deciduous forests are found at the foothills of the Himalayas and it covers a major portion of northern plains and peninsular plateau. Next, we have 
mangrove forest mangrove forest is found in the coastal or deltaic regions among all these mangrove forest of ganga brahmaputra delta is the largest and the most prominent one the fourth type of vegetation found in india is the tropical thorn forest tropical thorn forest exist in the hot and dry regions of the western part and the interior parts of peninsular plateau and in today's lesson we discussed in details about the last type of vegetation found in india that is the mountain forest as its name suggests mountain forest is found in the hilly mountainous regions of the himalayas especially in the northernmost part of the country and in some parts of northeast india so that's all about the entire natural vegetation of india and from this map we can clearly understand that india's natural vegetation is indeed very diverse because of the different climatic conditions soil and topographic features found in india in our next lesson we shall discuss about the importance of natural vegetation and how we can conserve it don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now